Hi, this is Chris with Peace of Mind Art and Crafts. And I'm here today to give you a short tutorial on how to make a little 3x3 uh, three three cam hanging canvas. Uh, I have a couple here that are already made. And I'll show you those in a second. You start out with a 3x3 uh, three three canvas or they also come in, uh, I believe they come in a 4x4 four four or a 5x5 five five size. And you can get the ones that also that are um, uh, thicker, you know, that actually look like a, a, a little canvas. These are more like canvas boards, but I like these also for working on. And I get them at Hobby Lobby. I just got a six pack. Uh, they sell, but the six pack sells for, I believe, $6.99. But uh, they recently had them at 50% off, so I got it. A good deal on them. So I'll show you how I get started in a minute. Let me show you a couple that I have completed. I have done another video on this also so there is another video if you want to check that one out as well. Uh, basically I'll cover the same the same uh, material on how to make these. <clears throat> this one I is uh, says I hope you dance has a as a dragonfly. I mostly use tissue paper um, for the backgrounds. Um, tissue paper, book paper, music sheets. And then um, I cover the back with a piece of uh, ribbon. I glue the ribbon down and then I put a piece of scrap paper over the top of it. Gives it a really finished look. Here's another one. This one I used. This is a piece of fabric that I used that had the that had the cat on it. I put a ribbon in the corner, and it says "I love you to the moon and back." I usually put some kind of a sentiment or saying on mine. You don't have to do that if you just like them plain. And then, of course, it has the the ribbon and has a scrapbook paper on the back. So I'll put those aside for now and I'll show you how we get started. You get started putting your background paper on first and the way I do it is I pick a piece of um, scrapbook paper, you can use fabric, you can use, I, I like using tissue paper because it's thinner and it goes on easier and it, when I use Mod Podge it, it really goes on well. Um, this is a thin kind of a wrapping paper tissue paper and I like the lace design on it. Um, what I do is I lay my I lay my uh, paper down and then I put either Mod Podge or you can use glue. I sometimes use glue to actually put the canvas down onto or the paper down onto the canvas and I put the glue on the canvas part because I want the, the paper to overlap. I'm having trouble with my glue. Of course the minute you get on camera you in on how my hands are doing. Uh, this is still about the same. I have a, um, I had a PT physical therapy appointment this morning and they did some things. I'll be making help me get some feeling back in my fingers. So if I'm fumbling around here, bear with me. It just takes me longer to do things and I can't get the accuracy on some on some things. Now this this is not bad because it's just gluing. It just takes longer as all. Well. Okay, then I take it and I try to center it as much as possible. It's not a big deal. And I leave enough overhanging on each edge so that I can wrap it over and I'll show you that in a minute. 
uh, pat it down on the front, get rid of any bubbles and so on. And then what I do is I clip the corners off. Now when I do that I try to get as close to the corner as possible. And I just go around and clip it off with my scissors. It's the paper scissors. Works well. Okay. Then I glue each side down. You are going to be covering over this with another piece of paper so it doesn't have to be extremely tacked down and it also doesn't have to be even. Like here, there's an, there's an uneven piece. That's fine, it'll be covered over anyway. And just go around and glue each side down. Now, I usually wait until I'm finished before I put the, um, the ribbon and the the backing paper on because I like to try to match it to what's on the front. So that's what we'll do today. These make li nice little gifts. Um, I sell a lot of these at uh, Christmas time and I actually put them on the, on the Christmas trees uh, that are on display at the, at the uh, place in the shops where I sell. And they do sell really well. So, and they make lovely gifts. Okay, now I decide what I'm going to put on there. I did cut out this butterfly earlier. Let's see if that will fit. I don't know. I do like that. Probably going to have to cut off part of it, or at least wrap it around. Okay, the way I can do this in order to get the glue on is I can make a mark like a pencil. And let me, this will just be half of the butterfly, which is fine with me. I, I love the, the pattern in this butterfly wings and I like the color of it. It's probably more like a moth, moth colors. Um, I'm sure this came from a digital but I don't remember which which one. Uh, I need to see where I'm gonna be able to get the most of the lace going on here. I think I like this. Okay. okay, now on this I can just put a little dab, I think I will just put a little dab of glue right here and anchor that down on the edge. And also this I can probably, yeah, I think I can put over the edge also. I don't need quite all of that. So I'll clip some of it off. It just makes it seem less abrupt if you fold it over instead of cut, cutting it off on the edge. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I decided quite yet what I what I want on here. I think I might want this saying, it's not the destination, but the journey. Um, I don't quite like how that I print. I just printed these sayings off on my on my computer. I have sheets of them that I that I have available uh, to 
for myself to print and then I cut them up and you, you can see I have a whole pile of them here. I make them different sizes for, for different projects. Those of you that have been to my Etsy shop might have noticed that I have um, greeting cards and I use these on my greeting cards. I also use them on my um, in my journals and on my conversation hearts. They're also in the Etsy shop. It's not the destination but the dirty. And I just cut these little guys out. Like I said, I'll show you how I use the Mod Podge in a minute. I usually use the Mod Podge on the ones that have like a lot of tissue paper because that holds them down really well. Whoops. Like this one has the Mod Podge on it. down further. The reason I might want to do that is so that I can, okay, the fingers aren't working, so that I can uh, put something up here maybe. I think so. So, Okay, see how it's taking me so much longer to do everything with the with the fingers like this, but you just have to keep going somehow. I guess like the doctors say on some things, especially as you get older, they'll say you'll get used to it. Well, you do kind of get used to it. There. Okay. So, we've got that on there. Okay. Let's see, I can see if maybe I want a tag on there somewhere. Let's see, maybe. Sometimes what I'll do is I will um, to kind of burnish the edges a little bit is I will actually put the I will actually ink it before I cut it out. And that works. edge that looks kind of inked. Um, while I'm doing this here I'll mention I do I am having a sale in my Etsy shop if you buy $24 or more then you'll get 20% off your purchase and that will last through September 1st so it's it's a summer sale and then, you, and I'll put the dis, in this description box below. I'll I'll write that again, and I will. Um, there's a code you use. It's summer sale. It's code summer sale. It's all caps, and that is on the on the um, Etsy shop. Anybody can get that that discount. And you can get to my Etsy shop by going um, up to the banner on my um, on my channel and clicking on Etsy. Okay, so that's one that I've completed. Now I'll need a, a background paper on that. Um, let's do one that I'm almost finished with, and I will put the back, show you what the background paper is going to be like. Here's one that I made using tissue paper and 
actually this background where this blue is that was a um, a napkin so you can use napkins also it's a good way to use them especially on the background this one also I used a, a napkin on and I used the um, Mod Podge on that one. Okay, let me this. Okay, let me grab this with my little numb fingers. I like the way this uh, this glue drives fairly fast. Let me pick out a, um, a ribbon for this. Um, I think I'll just use. I use some of my hug snug seam binding. You can make these short or long, just depending on how you want them. You cut off a piece. And the next thing I want to do is I want to pick up a, a background that's going to go with it. Um, this or this, actually, either one goes. I think I'll use the up the back since I've used the, the green on quite a few of them and what I do is I come out for make sure you got this facing the right way at the you want to put this at the top so I put some glue in towards the edges not super close to the edge but so you catch it in there and here I face them so that they're so that they're up. And I put the glue on the back of the paper, making sure I get fairly close to the edges because I really want to glue down the edges really well. And if it seeps out a little bit, I can wipe it off. And then I also can get in the middle area to hold it down. Okay, and I'll turn it over. And match it up on the sides. It's best to cut this so that it's just right about on because it's too difficult to cut off. You know, if you don't if you don't get it right, it's too difficult to cut it off on the side. You can do that, but it it usually comes out looking a little bit uneven. I'd rather have from the front where you can see it a little bit more. And um make sure that's glued down. And what you can do is you can take your, your ink and kind of run it along the sides. There was that little white area there where I can, and I can cover that, cover any white area that might be showing. And it also makes your edge look a little finished. You can also do that on the, on the front. Add a little shadowing on your, on the front of your page. Okay, now is a time where you, if you wanted like a little charm or something on there, you could you could glue that down. Okay, or a bow. I had some um, 
some flowers on this one some little tiny paper flowers that I glued down and I think I also will do it on this one um, let me show you a second how let's see how I can do uh, do it with the Mod Podge. This one has been Mod Podged already, and um, I had decided I'm going to have this lace and then this thing. If it doesn't open, it's not your door, and then I'm going to have this little fox. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Mod Podge on this. which I did to put to put this um, uh, actually this is tissue paper underneath here and then music paper on the top of it so <clears throat> I'm going to use my my Mod Podge I have my little sponge brush here which I've been keeping in a plastic bag um, let's see if I can I'm going to see if I can glue down this lace with the Mod Podge. I should be able to. If not, I could. I can just use the uh, the tacky glue, or uh, okay, this goes a little bit over, but that's okay. Now I've I've told you guys before that I use this little bottle of Mod Podge. Um, and I just put it right on rather than putting it in a bowl or anything because if you put it in a bowl and you don't use it all then you've got to wash it out and washing out the smosh podge in the sink is not good to put down the drain so that's why I use it on, on the sponge brush because then I can get most of it all out and uh, then I put my sponge brush into a plastic bag to be able to use it for a few days so that I won't have to wash it. Okay, should hold it down fairly well, and then you know, do if it doesn't open, it's not your door. And I can either put the Mod Podge on the back and then put it down. Podge on top of it. Now I have used some of my um, some of my stain already. Here's my Mod Podge stain. I have to go fast because I'm almost out of time for this video, but that's okay. Um, we can do it. We can show you this. And what it is is just a separate bottle where I mix Mod Podge with some um, some stain, some ink stain, or you can also use acrylic paint. Go. Kind of maybe gives an older look to the lace. Okay, now I may use, um, and I probably will use this little fox sticker if I can get it off of here. And I'll add just a little bit of um, glue to to him. Um. I want to thank you for watching my video today. I wish you all peace of mind.